Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and on the desk today we have this Joya Lens 3 Lens LCD Digital Microscope with a 10 inch screen that's been kindly sent in by Joya Lens for me to review so thank you Joya Lens so that means that this video is sponsored by Joya Lens so thank you very much for sending this for me to have a look at and to review and to use it is most appreciated so let's have a look what's in the box so to start off with have a nice instruction manual all nice in color nicely detailed everything laid out very nicely nice and clear with some nice illustrations and what to do so we'll just have a quick flick through that as you can see it shows you everything to do with the microscope so very nice whilst we're at it don't forget to like share subscribe comment join the facebook group join patreon buy me a coffee have a look at my website microchips.net for all my boards so yeah nice clear instruction manual very nice and here we have a quick start guide on how to assemble it so we'll have a look at that again very nice and clear so it should be nice and easy to assemble with that and let's have a look what's in the box and yeah this thing is big it's really big but then again you would expect it to be big for a 10 inch screen so it's fantastic and whilst we have a look in the box these microscopes are available on Amazon there will be a link provided below and the model we have here is the 10 inch monitor with the um, HDMI output with the three lenses 32 gig card comes with it and yeah it's absolutely fantastic so there's the lenses comes with a remote control remote control takes a couple of AAA batteries so no problem with that that's our holder so you can put um, slides with very small samples on it My, uh, mini HDMI to normal HDMI and the control cable for the lights power and the microscope We'll just take out this piece of packing and there we have the base and the beam that obviously the microscope connects to and this base has got a good weight to it as well feels nice and solid and there's our LED lighting so we can light, light up the object and there's the actual main microscope unit and obviously the the pickup on the back which we can tilt downwards when we install it and in my rush I forgot to take out the main column out of the box so let's get to assembling it so for a start we need to screw this column into the base and everything does feel substantial made out of nice metal it's got a nice weight to it so that's our column installed and the next part we need to install the beam so we'll slide that down just gently lock it into position so we've got a move, movement up and down of the microscope, we can move it in and out. So yeah, all very configurable, all very movable. So we've got to take off the lens assembly first, so we can slot the microscope into its holder. So we'll remove the lens screws. And gently remove the lens. So this unit does come with three lenses. 
so we'll put the lens back on now we've installed the main microscope unit onto the beam so we'll just offer it to it we'll put our retaining screws back in just like so and there's our lens very nice So this makes lens changing nice and easy. So we're connected up the power. We've connected up the power to the base LEDs. On the back of the unit there we've got the HDMI and we've got the slot for the SD card. And obviously the uh, main power for the unit. So we'll take our SD card and we'll drop it in making sure it's in the right way it's only going one way and it just pushes down with a nice click just like so and we'll pop some batteries into the remote control we go so I think we're good to good to go I think so there's our microscope we press the power button and on she comes with a nice welcome screen and I've still got the screen protector on it doesn't make any difference when you're actually sat in front of it so we're just having a look through the menu system so everything's straight away in, in English so we've got different resolutions exposure date stamps everything you could expect so as you can see we've got up to 60 frames per second in 1080 we can put a date stamp on it as well if we so wish we can adjust the sharpness color contrast now there is a Wi-Fi option, I've not found out what the Wi-Fi does yet. But that's for our mains frequency, so 50 Hz over here in England. We'll just format the SD card whilst we're in there. We can put grid lines on the screen as well if we wish. It does give us an SSID with the Wi-Fi. I did pick it up and connect to it, but not sure what to do with that, so I'll have to look into that. But yeah, you can put um, grid lines on and this is also connectable via PC and there is PC software available so you can view the images on the PC as well. So I've got one of my boards set up underneath it. As you can see, we're quite a distance away from the actual microscope itself. Got it under the lighting. Well, let's have a look. So this does this board doesn't use the small list of parts. I think they're um, 08 and 12 size components. So we'll just line it up under the scope and let's have a look. So what you're seeing on the screen now is the actual recording that's been made directly onto the SD card. And yeah, very nice. Nice and sharp picture. And the picture on the monitor screen as well is absolutely crystal clear. Nice and sharp, nice and bright. If I take a picture of it whilst I'm recording, it doesn't do it any justice. You need to see it to appreciate how sharp and clear the picture is on the microscope screen itself. So these parts we're looking at here are the 0603 size. So these are actually 10K resistors. Back to the other board that uses the 08. And that's actually a 5 volt regulator. So yeah, very nice, very clear, very nice. So 
so those red components you just saw then they were surface mount 4148 diodes I think those are 1206 size 10 K's so what we're going to do is we're just going to have a quick play with the buttons so there's our brightness and we've also switched it into black and white as well and there is a colour inversion as well which we'll look at in a moment so I'm just using the digital zoom now so as well as being able to move the microscope closer to the object we can digitally zoom in as well so back to the 0603 parts and we've moved the microscope closer now back to the 5 volt regulator and still very clear using this general purpose lens so everything's really sharp really clear it's very nice okay that's good that's very good okay let's move it even closer so now we've put it really really close and now you can see the 5 volt regulator is now too big to fit on the screen and there's those 1206 components and the 4148 diode so yeah, really sharp, really clear picture. Very nice. So yeah, it's really good detail. Very impressed. So there's back on back onto the 0603 part that we started off with. And there's a picture it actually on the screen itself like I say videoing the screen doesn't do it any justice so we're going to change the lens now because in the pack of things we got with the microscope we got some slides with some samples on it so we're going to have a look at these and see how much magnification this microscope really can do so we've got some spring clips which we can um, attach to this light box so we unplug the power from the back of the stand plug it into this light box and it illuminates the slide from the rear so we've got these slide samples so this one is labeled pine stem so as you can see we're really close up against the object now so this is the actual object so we're going to go in a little bit more with a digital zoom and yeah this is fantastic that's really good detail so i presume this is a cross section of a pine stem but this is just a tiny little speck on that slide so yeah this thing's got some really good magnification on it when you change the lens out that's really nice really sharp okay let's have a look at another slide so an epidermis of an onion as you can see it's just a tiny little piece on the slide so we'll put that onto the backlight box get it lined up and let's have a look so i presume this is just the maybe the skin of the onion or something okay on to the next one so we've got a honeybee wing 
hopefully not um, breeding honeybees just for this but who knows let's have a look so yeah very nice and clear very detailed let's zoom in with the the zoom get it a bit closer and yeah the detail that's showing there is really fantastic so yeah very good you can even see the small hairs on the on the wing and the like a serrated on the edge okay on to the next one I'm not even going to try and say that I'm not actually sure what that is let's pop it in and have a look So is this some form of bug or something or I don't know. I don't know what this is. Maybe I'll Google it and try and find out. You can see all the all the hairs on it and yeah really good okay on to the next one honeybee worker leg okay let's have a look at this so let's get it lined up and focused in now there is some real um, details you can see on this one this is um, really fantastic so we'll just zoom in a bit more with the digital zoom And whilst I was looking for things to magnify, I thought let's have a look at this EEPROM, which has got a nice window so we can see the integrated circuit inside. So let's get a bit closer. So I'll move the lens a little bit closer. And yeah, details very good. So let's go in a little bit closer. And yeah, finding a bit tricky to position the light in now. But we get in there so i'm just using the digital zoom just to zoom in we're definitely getting more more detail coming through so let's move it a little bit closer and now we can even see the intel 1982 so what i'm going to do now is i want to switch to the really close-up lens that we were just using for those slides and get it really close so having a little bit of trouble trying to get the light actually into it but I think we can see so now we can go really 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 close like I say I'm having to use top side lighting for this because obviously I can't use underside lighting but there's the Intel copyright 1982 stamped on the corner of the die so yeah absolutely fantastic very impressed with that so let's have a look at it with some electrical components which I'll probably be using it for so I've got um, a scrap board here just having a look at some standard through hole resistors as you can see they're absolutely massive we'll just turn the board over 
a look at the print side and there's a nice close up of a nice cut track isn't that beautiful a nice big ceramic disc capacitor so again we're just looking at a scrap radio or my test radio that to use okay let's turn it over and have a look at the board side Oh yeah, fantastic, nice and clear. So I should think as I use this microscope more, I will find out more of its features. So back onto the um, scrap board again. This is using the um, not as much magnification lens as we did last time. So as you can see, we're fitting more on the screen this time. Just adjust the light slightly. Stop any, stop a bit of shadowing that's getting. So everything's nice and clear very nice so we're back onto one of my mod boards again so that's actually the color inversion I mentioned before so I've got it plugged into one of my computer monitors if you wanted it it's on a big screen and whilst you're plugged into the HDMI the um, output to the monitor screen goes off but you can tilt that out of the way should you wish so very nice very nice clear clear output let's have a look at some specifications there you see there 1080 60 frames a second and ultra HD 24 frames a second and it even comes with a bug box so you can get a bug and put it in and view it under the microscope I was actually wondering what that box was originally but yeah that's what comes with it very nice So yeah, I'm impressed with this microscope, most definitely. Will I be using it? Yes, of course I will. It's going to make a fine addition to my repair area. There's times I've been wanting a microscope whilst I've been doing jobs. And this is now great. Okay, I'll just have a quick measure of the screen. So corner to corner actual viewable area just about nine and a half inches so yeah it's good so all in all a, um, a fantastic piece of equipment I really am impressed with it so if you're interested in one of these microscopes the links are down below for the Amazon um, listings for them there's three types of microscope on offer. There's a 7-inch, a 10-inch and a 10-inch with the HDMI output. And this one is the 10-inch with the HDMI output. So again, thank you JoyLens for sponsoring this video and sending me this microscope to review. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, join the Facebook group, join Patreon, buy me a coffee, have a look at my website. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.